So this past weekend on Saturday, it was a cold New England fall day, and I was sitting around the house and I was thinking, I want to actually make a soup today. So I looked up some recipes, I found one that I really liked, and I headed out to the supermarket and I picked up the ingredients that were needed for this particular recipe. So then I was like, I wonder what ChatGPT would say I could make with these ingredients without any knowledge of the recipe that I had found. So I'm using the vision capabilities that comes with ChatGPT Plus, and I'm uploading a picture of the ingredients in my fridge. So ChatGPT comes back and says, it looks like you have a variety of ingredients in your fridge. How can I assist you with them? And I'm going to say, tell me what you see in my fridge. And you'll see that it starts listing off almost immediately all of the ingredients that are in my fridge. So let's take a closer look. We see chicken stock, cheese tortellini, specifically cheese lovers, a bag of pasta, potentially Barilla brand, half and half, spinach or greens, bacon or meat, eggs, cantaloupe. Ah, cantaloupe. Yes, I know what it thinks is cantaloupe. And it says there's also some, some items in the drawers below that aren't fully visible, so I can't identify them. Would you like any recommendations or further information based on these items? So I'm going to ask ChatGPT, what item do you think looks like cantaloupe? It's going to come back and say, I apologize for the oversight. Upon closer inspection, there isn't a clear item that resembles cantaloupe. So I'm going to say, what do you think it is if it isn't cantaloupe? So based on the image, the item that they mistakenly identified as cantaloupe appears to be a carved orange or amber colored object. It's hard to determine its exact nature from the photo alone. So I'm going to go ahead and give it some help here and tell it that it's a butternut squash that's peeled and cut in half. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Butternut squash has a similar color and when peeled and cut would resemble the item in the image. Then it asks if I want any help with anything. I said, please provide me a recipe using all of the ingredients in my fridge. Now keep in mind, it does not know what recipe I'm already planning to make, but it comes right back and says, certainly, given the ingredients you've shown in your fridge, here's a recipe idea for a creamy tortellini soup with butternut squash and spinach. And you'll see that it starts to list out all of the ingredients and their measurements, as well as the instructions on how to prepare the meal. And it breaks it down into preparing your ingredients, things that you need to saute, for example, the squash and the meat, adding in the liquids that need to be added in, adding in the tortellini, and then finishing off with some fresh spinach. And then season and serve. Enjoy your creamy, comforting tortellini soup with butternut squash and spinach. Now the thing that really kind of blows my mind is the recipe I bought these ingredients for was a butternut squash sausage and tortelloni soup from the Pioneer Woman. And with the exception of some additional items that were not featured in my refrigerator picture, ChatGPT basically gave me a recipe for the same type of soup that I basically cooked on this cold fall Saturday afternoon. And man, I'll tell you, it was delicious. Rossi Bites.